What is up guys, Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Thanks again for stopping by. So today we're taking a look at the gold nugget from Bitcoin Merch. There's a budget solo Bitcoin miner that anyone can use and the setup takes about five minutes. So today I wanna to take you through this little mini miner, show you how to set it up, show you the price tag, show you the specs, and show you the chances of actually hitting a Bitcoin block. So without further ado, let's get into it. Looking at the gold nugget itself, they're very, very basic. There's not a lot to them. Now, this is actually an additional case that I've got with this little miner. It does often just come with the little LED screen, but it doesn't have anywhere to mount it or sit it. So, you know, this little case is quite handy you can just sit it down like so put it on your desk put it on a shelf somewhere and when these leds look up they make a really cool little background piece so going through some of the uh you know the characteristics of this as we said there's not a ton to them you've got your display on top you've got a spot in the back here for your sd card and you've got your power outlets which is just a usb-c which it will come with in the box so the best part of these is powering on is as simple as putting that USB-C in and letting it do its thing. So initially it's going to try and connect to a Wi-Fi network, but because we don't have a Wi-Fi network details installed yet, it's going to take about 20 seconds or so and it will start loading or it will bring up the details that we need to use will also show up with a QR code. So you can scan that for the exact install instructions, but you're not gonna need those because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So as we can see right here, it's got a, uh, an SSID, which is the Wi-Fi we're gonna to connect to and the password. So moving on now, let's get this thing installed and I'll take you through exactly how you set this up on your mobile phone. So let's go through this install. Very easy, as we said. First thing to do is you're gonna click on your Wi-Fi. You're gonna turn that on, and it is going to find this NMAP-2.4G. Now, little fun fact, these can occasionally connect to 5G networks, but if you're having any issue, make sure you've got a 2.4G network available. You're gonna click on that and connect. Very, very simple. You're then going to need to click and hold on it again and click connect only this time and we will be connected. The very next step, click right here on the little cog bar and click manage router and it will take you to the device configuration. Now I've jumped on the PC here because it's a little bit easier to show you everything, but you'll have this exact screen on your phone if you're doing it on your phone. If you're looking to do this on your computer, you'll just take the IP address at the top here, which I've got blurred out, plug that into your browser on the same network. First thing I would do is set up your Wi-Fi configuration. So connect to your own Wi-Fi, then that way it will auto connect every time it's on and it will use that for data. Now the important things to do here, I like to use public pool, which is the default pool that will come in here, but you're going to need to put in your own Bitcoin wallet address. Now I'll leave a couple of uh, cards up above or a link down below if you're looking how to get a specific wallet address because you don't want to have the wrong wallet address just in case on the odd chance you hit a Bitcoin block and it goes to this original wallet address. That would be an absolute tragedy. There is a secondary pool and wallet address you can enter in as well. Um, but that's basically all it is, right? You can adjust things like, you know, the brightness, all that sort of stuff. You can turn the LED on and off, rotate the screen, you know, check how quickly the, uh, the UI will refresh, what intervals, how many seconds, and the coin display price. So once you've entered all of that information in, you're simply going to click save, and then it will reboot itself and connect to your Wi-Fi. After a couple of minutes or so, that will start hashing again once it's all got your Wi-Fi details and your wallet entered. It's reconnected and we can see here the hash rate changing right around 996 kilohash. So we're up. We are on the ecosystem. We're mining Bitcoin. We're solo mining and we're in with a chance to hit a block there. So 
There's a few more details of what's going through here. You know, it shows you your hash rate, your shares, our pool as well. This is our pool address, difficulty, all that sort of stuff, right? Also how long it's been up and the version. So there are occasionally new versions that come out. So keep an eye out for that. You'll be able to see them on this page right here. Now jumping on over into publicpool.io, this is the pool that we're mining to. So you'll be able to see this up and mining once, uh, once it's connected. It only takes about a minute or so. And we can see right here, right around the 1.1 mega hash. So we're on the network now, we're at a chance to hit a Bitcoin block. So let's jump on over now and have a little bit more of a look at the specs and the pricing and all that sort of stuff to see if this is worth your while. Over here on Bitcoin Merch is where you can grab one of these for yourself if you're interested. We can see right here, once this LED screen is lit up, it actually looks pretty cool. So, you know, for what they're worth, they might even just be a, a pretty cool little background feature for you to have while uh, entering that Bitcoin lottery every day. Number of different colors you can choose from. And you can also get these without this little uh, this little box, this support box if you wanted to, but for the extra 10 bucks or so, I'd recommend it. So I'll leave a link down below, about 68 bucks. We do have an affiliate code, thanks to Bitcoin Merch, so you can save yourself a few percent there and get them even cheaper. So looking at the specs right here, we can see it's saying it's got a 350 kilo hash. Now we had a little bit more than that at the time. It will spike up and down. The best part, as we keep saying, you're entering the Bitcoin lottery every 10 minutes. Now, this is a low hash rate device. Don't get it twisted. The chances of hitting a block on this are incredibly low, but around $60 or so to be in the lottery like that, day in, day out, chunking away. I think it's a pretty good, a pretty good investment. So it uses pretty much no power, these things. You know, it's using a few watts, similar to a light bulb. You're not gonna notice this on your electric bill. There's no noise, there's no heat, um, it's plug and play. So a really, really easy uh, little miner to get your feet wet, right? To get started in the sort of Bitcoin mining world. But be warned, these things are addictive, right? I've got a bunch of these now set up and uh, I'm planning on grabbing a few more. So will you hit a block with this little mini miner? The chances say no. So let's have a look at exactly what our chances are. We come back over here, we're right under a sort of a thousand kilo hash. We're showing up at about a thousand kilo hash on the uh, public pool. So let's just enter that in and see what sort of chances you get with something like this. So uh, as you can see, very, very, very low. The chances per day, I'm gonna have to do some maths on this. I think this number is one in seven trillion, 808 billion, 175 million, 182,482. <laughs> so very, very low guys, right? So don't look at buying one of these thinking that, uh, that you're gonna hit a Bitcoin block with this. This sort of thing is more to get your feet wet, right? It's a bit of fun, they look pretty cool and it could just be a really good way to start. The winning value is 319,000 USD. So, you know, it's a lot of money to win, but just to give you a bit of an example, one of these other miners that we have, um, it's the Nerdax Q, which I'll leave a, a link for down below, has a lot more hash rates. So I think it's around 5.7 uh, terahash, I, I believe it is. Is it terahash or gigahash? Can't quite remember. Let's have a look. It's terahash. So if we go down here to terahash, so you can see right there, that's one in a million per day, 1,369,000. So there are different ways you can scale this and get some uh, some more opportunity to hit a block. But uh, at a thousand kilohash with one of these gold nuggets, your chances are pretty slim. But like we said, a bit of fun. So let me know what you guys think. Is this just a complete waste of money? Or are you looking at getting yourself one of these just to test it out? Leave your comments down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.